Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Mimi With Love, and tonight I'm coming to share with you what I have done for hashtag Artisan Journal Prompt 2024, and that is a collab being hosted by our dear friend Patty of Life With Patty. If you are interested in this collab and would like to join, hop on over to Patty's channel and watch the original video. Anyone can join. It's an open collab. And Patty has been a delight. Absolutely so welcoming. Just makes everybody a part of it. It's just been a blast. So, anywho, Patty gives us a prompt every week. And I think this is the eighth week. And the prompt this week was, what makes you happy? The things that make you happy. And interesting enough, this was difficult for me. Not because I don't have anything that makes me happy, but because I have so much that makes me happy that it was hard for me to pinpoint without leaving something out. So I decided to do what I always did in college when I was writing a paper, and that was to go way down to one topic. Get rid of all the clutter and concentrate on one topic. And that's what I decided to do. The One of the many things that make me most happy is crafting. So that is what my layout is all about. What makes me happy in crafting? And I have used as many techniques as I could to create this two-page layout about my creativity and how it makes me happy. And as you can see, I've got a hidden paper clip over here that is kind of cute. And it just slides off. This was done with a jelly plate while I was doing this. So this was the leftover paper from the um, roll-off from the jelly plate. So I just turned it into a hidden paper clip, which turned out really cute. Because I wanted to, to hold on the little card. Uh, and on the back of the card, I've got all the techniques I used to create these two pages. Because I wanted to get a lot in there. The first thing I did was I gessoed both pages. Then I used my jelly plate. That's how I got these stripes. I used my jelly plate and I used a, um, a scraper like this to get my lines. Um, and then I used watercolor and the, the background from the jelly plate is all the way up the paper, but my rose tree covers some of it up. Same thing over here. I also used acrylic paints. That is what I jelly plated with, was acrylic paints. I also did probably my most favorite creative, creative thing I do is drawing. So I had to get drawing in there. So I kind of drew a um, representation of my artistic self. Um, that's why all the color in the face and hair and everything, because I like color. And all of this, all of these are my favorite colors. And that is what she's projecting out onto the two pages is color and my creativity. Um, I also use stencils and stencil paste. That is what I did my flowers with. They're raised. You can feel some texture. See how they're raised? Because that's texture paste. Um, I used the yellow over here. And then I used the blue texture paste and made these leaves with it. Um... <clears throat> And, of course, I used stencils with that. Then I decoupaged my 
after I drew my tree, because I, I drew this tree in the tree trunk, and I just drew right over my background. I drew branches all up in here. After I did that, I decoupaged the napkin so it would look like a rose tree with the roses hanging down, and I just love my tree. Love, love, love my tree. Um, then I used alcohol markers to add some shadow and depth to my flowers. You can see how they're darkened and shadowed. And some green. Um, I used a die cut. She is cut out with a die cut, which is another one of my favorite crafting activities. Um, I also, I had to include sewing, guys, um, since I've got my machine last year. Sewing has quickly became one of my most favorite things I do in my crafting. I enjoy the act of it, and I enjoy the, the effect and, and how it looks. Um, embossing. I embossed my picture here with the honeycomb embossing plate. Um, the 3D one that I recently got from Elsa. Okay. And then I took my flat ink and went over the embossing so it picked up the pink ink on top. And it didn't mess up her face too bad. I really like that effect. Let's see. And then I used this sweet little sticker. And this little sticker was gifted to me by Linda of Linda's Creative Life. And I used it because there's my little favorite animal, a fox. And I am very, very fond of stickers. And I love using them in my crafting. So, this, guys, is what makes, or one of the things that makes me happy. And it's probably what I actually spend m most of my time doing um, since the grandsons in school and my kids' lives are very busy. This is what I do, and it does keep me happy, and play, well, it plays a big part of my happiness. The friends I've made, YouTube buddies, and experiences I've had have just been extras, and yeah, that's it, guys. One of the things that makes me very happy, please tell me what you think about my creation, and from Virginia, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks so much, Patty. I have enjoyed this. You have been an amazing host. We'll be talking to you really soon. Bye-bye.